Hello and welcome to the Bentley channel. I'm Shmi150 and you join me here today in California to take a look at the new Bentley Bentayga EWB Mulliner. Now it's Monterey Car Week and we've seen the introduction of this car which we're looking at today here on the concept lawn at the Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance 2023. Today I'd like to show you through all of the details, talk about the extended wheelbase nature, show you through the interior and the level of luxury and wellness that it offers but also run through the visual cues on the exterior, talk about the specific bespoke elements of this vehicle and the different options that are available. So we'll begin right up front with the distinct Bentley Grill. Here we have the new double diamond matrix. You can even see the different levels, how it's been created along with the integration of the camera that supports your adaptive sensors for all of the safety and electronic systems with the vehicle. In addition to having those grills, you also have on this car the Brightware, which you can opt now from new to choose for the black line specification should you prefer. That will give you, for example, the gloss black surrounds on the headlights. And I'd actually like to draw your attention to these because you'll start to detect some themes on this vehicle. For example, the crystal inlays of the lights that carry through including on the interior and you'll see what I mean in a moment. As we come round towards the side we've got the bespoke Mulliner wing badges featuring that double diamond design as well that give the presence of the vehicle. We actually have a new wheel design, a 22 inch wheel that you can see here. The centre caps are self-leveling to always have the Bentley B facing the right direction. We have the polished wheel option here, one of the four different options available. You can also have polished and black, polished and grey or the full gloss black should you prefer perhaps to match with the black line specification. As we come round we have the the standard satin silver mirror caps with the black line there'd be gloss black but a visual differentiator for the EWB which is of course about this extended nature and this is where you see the majority of that the 180 millimeters 18 centimeters or approximately seven inches of extension to the vehicle that's back here for the comfort of the rear occupants of course the extended chassis and in line with that they've actually added rear wheel steering as well the advantage of that is that this car despite being longer actually has a smaller turning radius than the regular Bentayga. Now, in addition to that, you have the 48 volt active anti-roll system, you have the three chamber air suspension, all the comforts that we've come to know from the Bentayga model that make for a fabulous driving experience. As we continue around towards the back again, we've got the Brightware here, which would have the black line specification, changing that to gloss black, should the customer prefer. And again, down with the diffuser and this lower part of the bumper as well, which at the front would be in body color in the regular specification trim. I want to come and show you inside though, and all of the different options and things that you can configure within. Moving firstly to the front before we're going to take a look at the rear of Bentayga EWB Mulliner, you'll spot the Tritone interior. Standard on the Bentayga EWB Mulliner is the Tritone finish of which this is called Cambric. There are eight options that are available, pre-configured, pre-defined if you will, also including flame, heather and others. If you go beyond and choose a bespoke interior from the different colour ranges available, you can create one of 4,000 different combinations or even with Bentley Mulliner make something totally unique and an almost most infinite number of configurations you could choose between. In cambric that we have here, the primary color is beluga, the black leather seen over the dashboard. The contrast is in linen that we have here for the seats. And then the contrast accent you'll see finished in breeze for the embroidery there in the center of the seat back, but also other elements that you'll spot around. For example, the six o'clock marker at the bottom of the steering wheel, the insert in the very center there of the dashboard, and plenty of elements also into the rear of the car as well. You'll spot also the diamond quilting that continues that theme that you have from that double diamond grill up at the front. Here against the beluga leather we actually have the double contrast in both linen and breeze. Also other details like the Bentley B badge there sitting under the lacquer of the trim panel. If we take a look at the upper section of the seat backs this is a unique Bentley Mulliner Harmony quilt that's used exclusively for the Mulliner vehicles. You'll see here against the linen we have that contrast in beluga and also in breeze. I want to show you a little bit more of the dashboard we step over the Mulliner entry sill plaques, the wonderful carpets with the micro pipe again in the contrast breeze, along with these lovely Bentley B logos down there as well. But inside here, we've got the digital dashboard sitting behind the steering wheel. We have a new clock proud up at the top of the center of the dashboard with these wonderful organ stops that operate your climate control and air conditioning, along with the center console, which is this diamond machined texture that you can both feel and see matches again in line with all of those themes. Plus over towards the passenger side of the dashboard, we have that display there with the silhouette and the Mulliner text sitting again beneath the lacquer, the highest possible of quality wherever you look within the vehicle. 
to the rear of Bentayga EWB Mulliner to show you what's on offer for the passengers in the back of the extended wheelbase Bentayga. This is where you have that additional 180 millimeters of legroom, but continuing with the same high quality of materials. The leathers, the tritone finish, the stitching, the inlays, all of the details that we've seen from the front of the vehicle continued through here, including the soft pillows for the headrest in the back. Now you'll spot this is the four seat configuration with the airline seats that can be reclined, including the footrest that will fold out from the back of the front seat at the press of a button. Also available is a four plus one configuration that replaces the central console with an additional seat for a fifth passenger within the vehicle. Now, as I mentioned, we have the central console, which features a fridge and the champagne flutes. And I want to show you something with those in just a moment. But up front on the back of the seats, we have the infotainment screens. Beneath those, we have the fold out picnic tables. In fact, literally just give that a little pull and you have the picnic table available and you probably also spotted that beautiful trim that's finished on the back of those as well. Again in here, the details continue with the breeze leather inserts, the contrast accent, and just look at everything that's around. There's as much storage space behind as seen in the regular Bentayga, but of course, substantially more legroom and space available. At the press of a button, you can close the doors. They are motorized into the closed position, into a world of silence far away from the event that we're currently attending. In the armrest, if we open this up, this is where you have your fridge. Pop this open and you could have your cooled bottle within, ready to pour into your champagne flutes. As mentioned, I want to show you something with those. So let me quickly just open the door back up and grab the champagne flute to show you what I mean, because these are, of course, by Mulliner, created with this crystal look. And in fact, if I come round to the headlights of the car, you will spot it is the same crystal style for the flutes that you have within the headlights of the Bentayga EWB Mulliner. So as you see, this is really the height of luxury. So much more functionality and space that's available as well. And we haven't really spoken too much yet about the technical side of things. Actually, one thing I would love to show you, when the door is open, you actually just give it the smallest of pushes and it will close and pull the doors too. It's time, of course, to talk about the power plant, the engine that we have in the Bentayga EWB Mulliner. So let me just pop open the bonnet of this car to show you what lies up front. Of course, it's a four wheel drive vehicle. We have a four litre twin turbocharged V8, makes 550 PS, 770 Newton meters of torque. Top speed is 180 miles per hour, 290 kilometers an hour. Zero to 60 miles per hour is only 4.5 seconds. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour being 4.6 seconds. Seconds. Plenty of poke to go and enjoy a drive, but of course to enjoy the comfort while you're making some amazing progress. Now this particular car is painted in tanzanite purple against the bright wear on the exterior and the polished wheels out in the sunshine here. I think it's safe to say it looks fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the Bentley Bentayga EWB Mulliner. Thank you very much for watching.